Hi, in this video I'm going to be trying to uh, explain to you what a logarithm is as we as we get into this. Um, remember that we've been working with exponential equations all along and so we've been seeing like x up in the exponent and there will come a time um, when we'll finally get to a point where we're like, hey, uh, maybe I say 10 to what power will give me 231, okay? And that's not a nice neat number. It's not an easy value to get. And so uh, rather than guess and check, we got to find a way to, to figure out what this value actually is. How do we solve for x if it's not a nice neat value? That is as opposed to a value like this where I say 2 to what power gives me 4? And most of you could probably tell me that that's probably a square, right? And so it's the idea that we can solve for x here. And in order to solve for it when it's not an easy problem, we need what's called a logarithm. And the form you're going to see it is log base b of a. That's how you state this. Log base b of a is the left-hand side of that. That's how you say it if you want to sound intelligent. And b and a, of course, will be numbers. It'll be log base like 10 of 13 or something. Okay, And really what this is, is um, what you need to understand is just like adding and subtracting are opposites of each other, they get rid of each other. Multiplying and dividing are opposites. Squares and square roots are opposites. Cubes and cube roots are opposites. Exponents and logs are opposites. Logarithms. <clears throat> and so what we do is we can use logarithms to get rid of exponents and that way it simplifies our equation if we know what we're doing. Okay, and so what we're going to do here, I've kind of written all around it, but let's take this thing and let's look at it. There is a rewritten format of this, which is going to be a big skill, actually. It's going to be um, half of your homework today. And what this says is, if I look at it this way, I can rewrite this expression as b is the base of my exponent equation. And b to what power will give me a? Log base b of a says what power do I have to raise b to in order to get a as the output? And the answer is I have to raise it to the x power. Okay, so I can rewrite it in this format. These two statements say exactly the same thing. So one more time, log base b of a equals x can be rewritten. It means the exact same thing as b to the x is equal to a. So in other words, all I have to do is I have to think about it this way. Take this guy and shift it over here put it down here, b to the x, and then just erase this, right? It's the same exact thing. Now there are a few special circumstances to talk about because you might notice on your graphing calculator, let me get one out real quick, you might notice on your graphing calculator that I do have a log button. It's right over here by the 7, okay? And this log button, if I hit it, it doesn't give me the option to put in that little subscript, okay? And so that's going to be an issue. And so we're going to find out that there is a base here. If I just see something that's written like this, log of 100, okay? If I don't see anything down here, the question is, what is that? What if they don't tell me what that B value is, that base? And the answer is this. If it's not written, B is 10. Okay, if it's not written, you assume that it's 10. In fact, I know because if I was going to write this, if I said log base 10 of 100, or I could write it as just log of 100 because if I don't write it, it's assumed to be a 10. That's saying 10 to what power gives me 100? And shouldn't that be 10 squared? Shouldn't I get a 2? Notice what happens on my calculator. If I type in log of 100, it tells me 2. It says 10 is the subscript raised to what power gives me 100? 10 to the second power gives me 100. So it's a way you'll notice to get out, it separates out and it gets the exponent by itself. So the whole idea here is if I have this and I don't know how to easily solve for x, like perhaps in this equation, right? 10 to what power gives me 231? Don't have a clue. But if I rewrite it in this format, that x gets dropped over, okay? The x here gets dropped over and it moves off by itself and I can figure out what the power is. So that's the whole idea. How can we solve, okay? One last thing before I get done with this video, and then I'll start in with a bunch of skills in separate videos later on. Remember that new symbol, E, that we've been talking about? Okay, so we've been doing some formulas that had this in it, right? And you had this thing here. I said that's a symbol that shows up so often. It's a number, right? E is just 2.718, and then it has, you know, that decimal goes on and on forever. It's kind of like pi. This thing shows up so often that we have its own symbol. Well, it turns out that it happens so often, it also has its own special logarithm. And that's called, by the way, E is called, since I haven't introduced this, E is called the natural number. And it has its counterpart, which is LN, and that's called the natural logarithm. 
And so it works in the same way as a log here, L-O-G. You'll see right underneath it is L-N, okay? Right underneath it is L-N. And notice they're even paired with 10 to the X and E to the X. I mean, that's a huge hint for you. But basically what it is, is if I ever had a log and the base of it was E, E to what power gives me something, we can replace that with just a simple LN. And you don't have to write a subscript because if you ever write LN, it's assumed that the base is E. So in other words, you're gonna see things like this, LN of two, natural log of two. And what that statement means, if I, if I had this and I wanted to rewrite it, I would say really, it's not written in there, but it's E. E to what power will give me two? E to what power gives me two? E to the X power gives me two. Those are equivalent statements right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice this and I'll have a series of four videos here that go through some basic skills. But basically the idea is this, whenever we get into this, have, have this statement here next to you, okay? Know how to rewrite the two because what we're going to do is if we have a logarithm, we'll usually write it as an exponent to solve. And if we have an exponent equation, we'll write it as a logarithm to solve. You'll be working back and forth between these two formats for basically the rest of the chapter. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense when we get into practice. I think you'll find out that there's a, it's a pretty typical pattern. You guys will be able to pick it up easily.